Yeah, this corner's a mess. It's boxes of stuff I've got in to trying to make my candles. This is stuff that I've had previously when this was a retail store. And here's some candle melts I've made. I took them to a um, to a show recently at a nearby um, show right before Christmas, and I did fairly well with that. And but I've started using a different wax now for them that I think the hot throw is just absolutely amazing. So here's some other stuff I had for my craft show. Some soap that I've made. Some that I didn't make. Some aroma beads. Some bath salts. Just a variety of stuff. And again, this is stuff that I started making way back in my home years ago before I tried to open up in 2019. And then I get on a painting kick every now and then, and I paint pictures, <laughs> attempt to. Some I do better than others. So I've just got these displayed back here, and this is usually where I paint my Cricut machine, my computer, and here's where I take a lot of my photographs and that light box. And when I was open before, I had big gondolas in here. I don't know if you know what they are. They're the shelves that actually came from a, a pharmacy that went out of business. I want to say Rite Aid, but I'm not sure if that's right. So here's where I started working now, making my candles. And I'm a messy worker. <laughs> here's some... Things that I just got labeled yesterday, sweet child of mine. It smells so good. And here's Seaside Wedding. And this one is Blue Gingham. I'm experimenting with colors and um, just trying to make something different. Honeysuckle and Jasmine. I've been using that one in the house and it really smells really good. I just, it was a small piece that I had poured over here some extra so it really isn't even a, as much as I would ordinarily put in there this one is lavender and this one is my sea salt and orchid which I don't know how that's going to go welcome to the jungle kind of a flop forest of green I put too much green in it but it smells good so here's mostly my workspace and I have started trying to um, figure out <laughs> which wick to use in my candles so to me the candle melts are a lot simpler but still it took me a little bit to find the wax that i wanted to to use so here's some of my jars i do not have tons and tons of jars like some people i spent a lot of money before um, making candles but i really didn't know what i was doing i didn't really even um, try to make them the way I just kind of like if it said that you need an echo four or whatever I don't know if that's even right then I would do that and I have a lot of cats in my house so I didn't even really burn a lot of them and I got a bunch of them stacked up around here in tins and stuff but I'm planning on getting some of them out and see how close I came to making a halfway decent candle so here this is like it gets it's so cold in here let's see what the temperature is this is north carolina shouldn't be that cold but it is cold now it is 58 degrees in here and i've got my little heater set up there for 62 but it heats about uh 
four square feet out from it. <laughs> Not much at all. So, um, hot wax should be hot, but it's cold. As soon as it comes out of my Presto pot here and it hits into my little containers. And, uh, yeah. So, my heat gun. Now, this is the candle I've been working on for a while. I listened to Stanley Handcrafted. I think that was who said that just make you a candle and then you just punch a hole in it and start with wicks. I've already put like, um, I don't know, three or four different kind of wicks in it. And either I'm, it's really hard to get them in the center. It seemed like it, I haven't found one right yet that's right for it. So I keep melting it down and I'm not sure it's melted evenly now. And that's where I kind of need to clean that up. But this is just a practice candle. I do like my blue swirls that I've got in there. And this one is um, blue gingham is what it was. So yesterday I tried a wood wick. The first one I finally had ordered some and finally got some in. And I put in a medium wood wick. And it's still, I don't think I had it centered really good. But it still did not make a good melt pool. So um, I'm going to be putting another one in in just a few minutes and see if I can do something a little bit better. So, um, yeah, it is definitely a struggle <laughs> trying to decide, figure out exactly the best way to make a candle. So I got plenty of room. I see these people that have made candles and done really well, it seems, with their YouTube channel. Um, in a small apartment, I think it's Urban Wonderlust. I've watched her, and she's finally gotten her a little bit bigger space. So, um, anyway, here's my some more candle wicks that I got in yesterday from the Flaming Candle. And I tried just the medium wood wick yesterday. Now, I've got the Jewel. I bought one of each. I don't know whether one's going to be better than the other. Or, again, it could be just um, me not putting it in the center like it should be and i have ordered um quick quick wick or something like that um wick quick <laughs> centering tools um but they haven't come in yet and i've also ordered this but again this is after i determine what wick i want to put in there this will be for of course um not the wood wicks but just the regular wicks and I haven't even really learned how to put this thing together yet. So it's all a learning process. Um, and I keep getting um, <laughs> samples and samples of, of different oils. This is just a couple of them that I've got. Just uh, trying to figure out which ones I do like. So far, I do like the ones I've got poured here. But uh, I think my sweet child of mine, which is actually... Uh, Sweet Grace it was actually the name of it um, So far that is one of my favorites Okay, so I tried the medium yesterday and today I'm going to try the dual medium and See if I can get it in the center This one is mm, that's not the center <laughs> This one's not as stiff as the other, so I'm not sure I can even push it in there. I may have to try something different. That one is not going in. That is some hard wax. Let's try something different. Okay, so I couldn't get the medium dual wick in there. It was just too flimsy, so I'm going to try the large. I have a feeling I might should have tried the medium again, but we'll see with this. Maybe I just didn't have it in the center. And I'm not sure this is going to be the center either. But one way to find out. It is so cold in here. I think that's why my wax is so hard. I have a feeling this is going to be way too big. Okay, that's going all the way to the bottom. I'll cut it off. Okay, maybe that looks fairly centered. Maybe a little too close over there, but we'll see. 
Now let's see if this is charged up enough to, to light. I love my little lighter here. I could not, well, when it works, <laughs> I could not get those others. My finger, thumb would get so sore trying to light those regular ones that you buy like at the stores. So I ordered this one online and you plug it in. I kept this plugged in because I'm notorious for losing everything. But so far it works really well. And this one, I'm not really sure how that's doing. Catch all the way across. I hear it crack on some. That side just won't stay lit for some reason. I'm not happy with this one for sure, right to start with. We'll see. I'll give it a minute. Still got a hot mess over, over there in that candle. But this is a candle that I made probably in 2019 when I started, I was opening up my little shop here. And this is all 100% soy wax. So I was using the golden wax, what, 464, I think is what it's called. But anyway, um, I'm gonna light this. It looks like it's fairly centered. So um, banana coconut. So I do have some of these tins left. I'm really anxious to get some candles that I can um, start trying. So I want to see, and I'm sure I've used just whatever was recommended for these tins um, from Candle Science, because that's where I bought them. So I'm going to light this candle and see how well it goes. looks like what a candle should look like <laughs> and so that other thing I'm not really sure I have a feeling it's just way too big but I don't know why it won't even light and burn all the way across whether it's how I cut it I say it's the first time they ever worked with a wooden wick maybe it's not supposed to burn big flames all the way across I'm not sure but uh, yeah so we're going to test these and I'm going to come over here and uh, make a few more test candles. This is the IGF, uh, I think it's IGF 6006, which I just love because of the, the great hot throw and the cold throw. So far, I have been very happy with all of that. It's just I have not been able to find the correct wick, and I don't know if that's something that this 
wax is notorious for. I'm not sure. But anyway, I've already got a little bit of wax in here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and melt some more. This has been such a slow process, I have not found a single candle. I have worked on some more, some jelly jars. But I'm going to concentrate on my Libby jars right now. Because they're the ones I want to really focus on. And I would really like to have a wooden wick in it. I like the way the wooden wicks look. But it's going to have to be whatever works the best. And so far I don't know what that is. this wax I think came in 10 pound slabs and so far we can see I've made a few candle melts with it which I'm really shocked that people do say you can use it with candle melts because it says it's for containers and I do know candle melts they are in containers but it's not jars and I think there's usually a different kind for that but even um, even though it says that on Candle Science, they do have a video showing a lady making melts with the 6006. And also, I've seen Stanley Handcraft using it. Now, it is sticky. And the only drawback that I have seen so far in making candle melts with it is that I cannot get it to come cleanly out of my, um, my warmer that I have to pull it out or scoop it out. And if I pour it out, I pour it in some um, aluminum foil and then it solids, it solidifies and I'm able to actually just scoop it out like I could regular um, a soy wax. But regardless, I love the way it works so well that I will put up with that. I don't know whether my customers will, if I ever get any customers, but I'm not the only person I know that is using the 6006. I think I'm pretty pleased with how the little one is burning. And the other one, I mean, it's making a good melt pool. Uh, I just don't know. So I've decided I'm going to use um, the large. This is the other half of the one I cut off. And also I'm going to use, since I used a medium, I'm going to use the medium dual bit in one. I really hope I can come up with, <laughs> with a decent candle. I mean, I don't want a decent candle. I want an awesome candle before too long because wax is not cheap and none of this stuff is cheap and I don't really care for these so far these flimsy dual wicks it's hard to believe that it's dual and yet it's so flimsy the others are not and they're nice and firm so I'm going to try to put these on with the wick stickers that I use for my regular wicks And again, some jars have um, a place that shows you exactly where to put the wick. This does not, but I do have, I did have a little cheat sheet. I don't know what happened to it. I think it might have blew off the table the other day. Here it is. Let's see. Something I printed off the internet. But even when I tried this before, I don't think it really got in the center. But we'll see. Because there's nothing really that shows me the center. I just have to eyeball it. And it really looks like the center. But it really 
really may not be. We'll see about that one. The candles are smelling good, particularly the, um, I really can't smell the small one. It made me so long made so long ago there's no smell there. The blue gave them smelling really good. Still likes a lot. It's 186 degrees, but there's a lot of wax in there. It's still about to be melted. Anyway, so the other day I ordered this. I think it's only one, one pound. And basically, that's probably what I'm going to do is use this. Probably shouldn't use two different fragrances, but that's probably what I'm going to do. So, there's not really a method to my madness, and thus that's probably why I'm flailing. So what I've decided to do is make them both with Sweet Grace, but I'm going to use one new pot here, so I'm going to pour one at a time. Uh, I can probably, well, maybe do some figuring, okay? Hmm, I don't really remember how much it holds. I think uh, about seven to eight ounces. So I would just do a pound. So I will do one and hopefully I will be able to make both of them with a sweet grace. So with a pound, I think I'm doing 6%. I'm going to put um, one ounce. Okay, so I'm going to put one ounce of sweet grace. So what I have been doing, and whether it's right, I really haven't seen anybody else do this. I just go ahead and measure it in the pot and then let the hot oil come in on top of it because almost becomes cold by the time it comes out when it's so hot in here. My heater is right here at me and it's saying it's 55 degrees now. I got that one set on 74, but believe me, it is uh, anything but 74. And, well, maybe I lied. It's saying it's 78 right there. Oh well, it's it warmer than what I thought. So anyway, I'm going to pour an um, ounce in here. Exactly one ounce of Sweet Grace from Northwood Candle Supply Company. And it smells so good. Shouldn't have given away my secrets, but yeah, everybody knows. Anybody that has ever smelled this before, you can name it whatever you want. They're going to still know it's Sweet Grace. Whether they know it's from Northwood Candle Supply, I don't know. I don't know how many other Sweet Graces there are. Anyway, yeah. So this is just about melted and 187 degrees, but I do want to go ahead and get it all melted. So what I'm going to do now is turn this on. Uh, I'm 
go ahead and heat my jars up a little bit and also my fragrance oil, but just not until the very end. I'm going to put the fragrance oil up there. So I'm going to try to get my jars a little bit warm. warm. So I don't think I really have to mark these because they're both going to be the very same fragrance. And I can definitely look at it and tell which one's better than the other. I will um, make a note. I have a notebook over here that this one is the flimsy one. So this is the jewel. And let's see how this one is burning over here. My two candles still. It's been maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So let's see if I can find them here. I've got to get a new, um, what do you call this thing? Anyway, I do know. <laughs> a better way to hold my camera because this thing is wobbly. I think it looks like it's burning pretty good. Both of them are actually. I'm pleased with both. I don't know if the heat is, the heater is making it wave a little bit. Maybe just me talking. But, um, yeah. So the large one may be the one I have to go with. I don't know. It's not that large of a jar. But again, this one is not Sweet Grace. This one is my blue um, gingham. So if I may make another one with blue gingham and use the same one and put it in there like it should be have it attached to the bottom and everything and then I will I'm not sure how much more I get done but um, I would like to make some more candles and again I'll just have to look and see what size I think it was an echo kind of a small one from candle science in my little tin and I do have several sizes of the tins but that's working really well but I will be using a different wax, so again, I will have to, and see that just put out some black smoke. <laughs> but I would definitely test them this time. Uh, and I did not test, but you know what? The people I saw at the time, there was not as many good videos. I have watched a lot of Stanley Homecrafted. One of my favorites is the Black Tie Barn Candle Company. I've watched Memory Box Candle Co., Urban Wonderlust. Those are my favorites. There's been some others. But I feel like I've learned a lot. It's just having the patience to actually do the work, you know. And then it's a struggle for me to get everything on. I've got a Shopify store. I got Etsy, and I put stuff on eBay. And I need to cut some of that stuff down. I've just got too many irons in the fire. But anyway, let's see. anything just about just two little pieces here and I'm sure that will be fine in the story check the temperature one more time 185 so I want to just sit this over here just for a minute And then we'll be pouring and I'm not going to put any color in anything in here. The reason I did it in this candle here is I just want to experiment with it and I loved it so I probably will be um, making the marbled effect and this is what I actually found at Michael's. It's actually a, a bracelet that you bend. It's copper but it's got this little film on it right now. I do have one that doesn't have a film on it. And that's how I did that. I just stuck these down in the sides of it and then just touched just the least little bit of, I think it's royal blue uh, color in there. And I think it really made it turn out pretty. But anyway, maybe we're onto something now. Don't know. It's still a process. I don't want to get these too hot. And they're definitely not. drop of wax fell into it or some I guess it was just hanging in there and there's like a lump in here but it melt and the other stuff gets in there okay. yep it is really hard for me to keep it up to the temperature that it should be um, 
I think they say heated up to 185 and poured about 170 to 75 even after you've stirred it for two minutes but then everybody don't say two minutes but <laughs> mine will drop down to 145 150 really quickly and that's what I've been pouring at and so far everything seems to be pretty good so I'm going to take this off and turn this down because I don't want any the wax stickers to come off or anything so this on. and I've learned I have to make sure it's not touching my box back there or the weight will not be correct so now I'm going to put in comes out slow. I don't know if I need a bigger nozzle or something. That's 15 ounces. And it comes up to a pound, 0.6, just a tad over. what the temperature is this thing still works 168 already what I'm going to do is sit it up here and just stir it a little bit more so I try to save everything so this stick I'm going to put in a bag with my sweet brace so I can use it over and over again so that's the smell does get in there and it does smell so good So this little warmer here helps. Now if I was having to pour a lot of candles, I mean I could put right many up here. But uh, yeah. Okay. So here goes nothing. They probably shrink is what I hear. So they say you don't usually have to pop up these. But I'm not sure about that one. The wicks. I'm not sure I'm going to go halfway in the center. I thought I did. But I don't know. Maybe. I'll be glad when my wick centers come in getting one for river wicks and also the wooden wicks so there we have it so far so good I got to clean this up I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right this minute and we're gonna look at how our candles are still burning over here I'm still pleased with them, with both of them. But yeah, I'll just let that continue to burn and we'll check back later. So these have been burning for a little bit now. The um, small one really has not made a complete um, melt pool yet. But it's burning pretty steady, but I do see a lot of black smoke that I'm not real happy with. It, puffs out every now and then it has settled down a little bit now the other one I really like the way it's burning it's not quite made a complete melt pool either and I don't know this these tables whether they're actually straight um, 
fairly happy with that, but it does need to burn on out some. And I'm going to have to go in the house. I hate to leave it burning, but um, it needs to burn a little bit more. I see there's a bubble over there in the corner. So my two candles over here, I thought I was recording a minute ago, and I wasn't. So this one, I think, looks pretty good. There might be a small hole back there in the back. I'm sure I'm going to have to finish off the top again with the heat gun. But it seems to be centered pretty good. This one here had leaned over, even though I had the uh, the clips up there trying to hold it steady. But it was just too flimsy or something. So I put my little tool up there and tried to center it better. Because it was centered, but it leaned over for some reason. So again, a work in progress. I just went and ordered me some more um, Sweet Grace from Northwoods Candle Supply, and I saw their coconut wax for um, melts, and they had good reviews there, so I've ordered a five pound slab of that. I do love this one here, but if I can find something that has just as good of a fragrance throw as what the, um, the soy blend that I'm using here, the 6006, then I would much rather do that if it will come out of the um, containers really easily. I mean, um, the the burners after it, it has melted. That I think that's the only drawback with the 6006 I've seen so far. It comes out of the, um, the wax melt container really easily, but after it's melted, I have not had luck with getting it out without pouring it in aluminum foil first. So, so anyway, I'm gonna keep letting this burn for a little bit. My mom has been sick. And I got to go check on her in a little bit. But before I leave, I'm going to eat something and just let this continue to burn for a few minutes. Well, I'm going to have to leave the house now. So I'm going to have to blow them out. I'm pretty happy with them. I still don't think it's... Well, I guess it has. I can see the pool melt. I don't know about this side. Maybe not quite. This one here still, I thought it looked pretty good, but if you look over here, you can see that it hasn't reached all the way over there. So, anyway, I will have to continue. Thank you so much. I know it's kind of long and rambling, but it is a process and it is a struggle. And if any of you has any tips or trips, tricks or comments, anything that can help me in my struggle, please help me out. <laughs>